What is up, fellow geeks and repair enthusiasts, and welcome to another installment of Tech Depth Teardown. Today, we're going to be looking inside the Pixel 7a, the Google Pixel, which is the mid range Google phone. Right now, you can get one for $444 on Google site, but you can find them cheaper given sales and so on. This is a fragile screen, at least as far as repairability goes. The Gorilla Glass is pretty scratch resistant, pretty good when it's on the phone, but these OLED screens are finicky when it comes to getting them off the phone without damage. So that's why we use the playing cards, the suction cup, the isopropyl alcohol, and that eye opener tool. That's that little metal spudging tool. Sometimes we use a bit of a flimsier piece of metal, the curved screen disassembler. This one is pretty rigid, but it gets the job done for this job specifically. This is brought to you by techdep.com. We do repairs, we do shipping of parts internationally. One click, get it quick to your door. So we've got that heating mat set between 75 and 85 degrees. I believe it is specifically set to 77 degrees Celsius this time. And we are gonna use that suction cup tool to provide just a little bit of pressure upwards in order to create the leverage necessary to slide the playing cards and slide that eye opener tool where it needs to go in order to work through that adhesive, work through the glue, and to do so without damaging the phone. And this phone does have quite a bit of adhesive. As we mentioned, it's only rated to IP67, not IP68, but you would never know based on how challenging it is to get that screen off and how much dexterity is really required. They really are very fragile, those OLED screens. So a lot of patience and a lot of precision is required. And that's why we are using the isopropyl alcohol, that 99% and the heating mat and the playing cards. You may notice that we don't actually use the playing cards for uh, our iPhone videos. We use them for these Google videos because they just seem to work. It really just seems to work and it opens like a book. It's got those hinges as you can see. And now we are going to get our first look at that front screen, first we gotta pop out that little flex cable, the, the Lego tab. Now we open up that front screen like a book and all that is separating us from the front screen is that T5 screw and that little flex cable that connects like a Lego. And once you pop that open, you'll be able to see the screen on its own in all its glory. And two interesting things to note. One, you can see that fingerprint scanner in the middle of the screen. And two, and you can see it right now, just barely, there's that little panel in the middle of the screen that is where the proximity and the light sensors go. And funny enough, if you look at the, the early reviews of the phone, I think that people are um, a little pre-programmed, a little primed perhaps to look for uh, nefarious conspiracies. People were a little concerned that that panel hit a, uh, a camera, a camera that was not advertised. Google has had some issues with products having microphones that were not advertised, but nope, it is just the proximity sensor and the light sensor. And you'll notice now that we are accessing the rest of the phone's components through that back glass, which is very similar to the iPhone 14. Generally, iPhone, Apple, is known for copying features of the Google phones and the Samsung phones and implementing them five years later. But this time it seems like Google has taken a page out of Apple's recent book. Here we have, I believe it is 15 T5 screws and two of the smaller T2 screws. Google just wants to make things a little difficult for you. You can see that wireless charging pad, although that might be a bit of a misnomer because it doesn't do too much charging. It does charge, but it charges at 7.5 watts, which uh, if you're using the phone in any way, let's say for display or something to that effect, it's really not gonna do much for you. But regardless, it's got the capability. It's nice if you are sitting in the office and you have that little, uh, I can't remember what Google calls it, but they have that stand that can charge and you can see the display and it's got that always on display but 7.5 watts is I think the slowest charge on the market. One of the fun things about these Pixel 7a, Pixel 6a consistently is that the inside of the phone is really not too different from the higher end Pixel 7. And uh, you know, maybe that's being reflected right now in the market because as I mentioned earlier, 
I just saw this phone for $444 and, and there you can see we just removed that top speaker. Saw this phone for $444 and currently you can get the Pixel 7 for $449. Really, the differences are gonna be in that camera. Uh, the back panel is made of glass on the 7 and plastic on the 7A, but it doesn't really feel like cheap plastic. You feel it in your hand and it feels good. I think that overall, if you can get the 7A for a good price, then it's gonna do everything that you need. That motherboard that you're seeing right now is quite delicate. Uh, this phone actually has a similar design to the iPad, but everything that can be attached, you can see that that front camera, that charging port are all soldered to the board. So you really wanna be careful before you pull on it to make sure that all the flex cables are disconnected. And now you can see that within the frame, all that's really left is that bottom stereo speaker like the iPhone, that stereo speaker connects to the top speaker to form that stereo. We have the motorized vibration engine right in the bottom left. We have the battery, we have the antennas and that's pretty much it. So that is gonna be it for us today at Tech Depth Teardown. If you like the content, please do like, comment and subscribe. It really is the best way to support the channel. And if you need any parts, tech, repairs, head on over to techdepth.com. We ship internationally, one click quick to your door. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.